Between the middle of the 19th century and the early 21st, the heaviest wild breeding bird in the UK was the mute swan at around 11 kilograms, or not far off two stones. The previous contender was the great bustard, which our forebears hunted to extinction in Britain in the 1840s. In 2004, a retired policeman from Wiltshire hatched a plan, and later an egg, which raised that weight by nearly half. Words like sustainability and conservation are now part of the language of shooting. David Waters and his team are trying to right the wrongs of the past by bringing back this bastard. They are going to extraordinary lengths, getting eggs from Russia to start with, plus there's the red tape. They are a class one red data book species in Russia, they're like the same legal status as a Siberian tiger. So the, it's literally a box full of licenses to get the birds out of Russia. And similarly, a fair old bit of paperwork and bureaucracy on the UK side to be able to release them. So I think it was about six years after I started the project that we actually released the first birds. David became interested in the great bustard as a boy, maybe because you can say bustard with gusto and get away with it. Since then, he has also become fascinated with muskets, but that's another story. He's made it his mission to succeed where others have failed. His reintroduction programme is dependent on the Russian farmers. We're only allowed to collect eggs from nests which have been destroyed by agriculture. And if it's a very dry season, they can actually get on and cultivate most of the fields before the bustards have laid. So it's, it's a good year for the Russian great bustards, but it's bad year for the UK project. Um, I think the highest number I've ever had in a year has been 32, but we've had several years where it's been just six birds. Foxes are a problem for younger birds, but David says that as they mature, bustards can outmaneuver foxes. This young one is especially feisty. But each bustard is a precious commodity and needs protecting, especially as the males don't become fertile until they are five years old. Unlike sort of most of the game birds, great bustards are long-lived birds. A male will live for 20 years plus, a female somewhere in the mid-teens. And they are pretty much predator-proof. So an unsuccessful couple of years can actually be catastrophic for grey partridge. But for great bustards, you're looking over the next 10, 12 or 15 years. So uh, you know, we, we can afford a bit of time to watch the population grow. Thanks to dedication, 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 David is hoping to achieve a sustainable population of bustards in the next few years. But I doubt they'll make it back onto the quarry list in his lifetime. If you want to find out more, go to greatbustard.org.